Wow, that looks incredible. Good, I'm glad. I know you're a huge Star Trek fan. Massive Star Trek So we're always fan. happy to come back and share oh, our premieres it's with you. so, so good to see you. Yeah, it is. And I'm so excited. I haven't seen it and I'm actually going tonight. I don't yeah. get out much. <laughs> I really don't. But I am definitely going tonight. I wouldn't miss it. I no, wouldn't we're thrilled to have you. We have to make sure to say hi tonight. I'll be, I'll be the, on the one weaving. Carpet. I'll be the one weaving. It's, it's just going to be great. And it's, um, it's such an iconic part to play. Yeah. And I know I, I remember because I grew up with Leonard Nimoy. Yeah. He was my first crush. And he gave you his blessing. Didn't yeah, he? he really did. did. Yeah, he really did. And, and we, we bonded over the character early on. He was very supportive and available to me as I was figuring out how to step into these huge shoes that I had to fill. Um, but then our friendship evolved so far beyond the role, and we became incredibly close. So this movie was bittersweet in a lot of ways. Uh, it was the first one we made without him, you know. Yeah. So, uh, but he was very much a part of it in spirit, and uh, we, we all carried him with us. And still do. Well, right that's now. the thing. That's the thing about about what the, the whole sort of reboot, if you like. Yes, we've got these amazing effects. We've got all of that. It looks incredible. But it's the characters. Yeah. That's what you've and been stayed is, true you know, to. The this characters. is the 50th anniversary of Star Trek, which is pretty massive. For, it's I still really a blockbuster do. summer popcorn movie. Of course. But I think it has themes and messages of uh, of real hope and. And optimism. It's got real heart. That's the yeah. thing, and that's what set the. That's why it's lasted so yeah, exactly, long. Right? You know, there's been so many. What other series in the 1960s yeah. would we yeah. still be talking about totally. and making and so movies many iterations about? And, and always ahead of the curve. Stories. Always, always ahead yeah. of its time. Always. And and this series, Mr. Sulu is gay. Yeah. Well, I always knew that. I always knew. <laughs> I always knew. Well, aren't you? You are an honorary gay, aren't you? I for, am. So, thank you. You know, you, your gaydar better be pretty strong. It, it better be. But that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Well, you know the. LGBT LGBT community has long advocated to be represented in the Star Trek universe, sure. and, uh, and 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 I'm we're all really grateful that we can be a part of the story that makes that happen. Sure. You know, I think it's generated such a positive response, particularly among young people who feel really inspired and heartened by this uh, very integrated portrayal. Um, mm. You know, and it's not hammered over anybody's head. It's a it's a real subtle. You'll see tonight in the movie. It's a it's a beautifully handled. Um, uh, fact that is embraced by all of us. So I, I feel like it's a uh it's a really strong and positive message to no, send really to the good. world. I know George Takai, who played Sulu originally, wasn't so... I, I was quite surprised, actually, because I thought he's gay himself, and I thought yeah. he would go, oh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think he had some trepidations about it, and I totally understand that. We love and we really respect George, and uh, and he's made an indelible contribution to mm. this this franchise and this universe. But, you know, I think that uh, that everybody, the powers that be, the creative powers that be, decided that um, that this was the most logical way to go in terms of and bringing logical somebody in. You is know? the right word. And having it be a character that, uh, that audiences were already familiar with, so sure. it wasn't defined by that, it was just an aspect of that character's personality, which is, I think, how societies are evolving mm. um, to include all different kinds of people, and we're, sure. we're seeing that everywhere in, in, in great ways. So I feel like it's, uh, it's hopeful to me that George will be heartened by that in the long run. And, I think he will uh, be. Yeah, I he's think a he great guy, be. so we want, him, we want him to be... You know. Of course, well, you're a family. That's yeah, the thing. indeed. Because I, when you think about it, it's been almost a decade. Yeah, we've been making these movies for together. nine years. Because you know, you sort of still think about it as the, you know, as the, young, as the new the, guys, yeah, the new kids, <laughs> as yeah. the new people. But it's been nine totally. years that we've all yeah, been together. Yeah, we've, we've. I mean, we've all. It feels like we've known each other a lifetime, and sure. we'll be in each other's lives forever, of course. Yeah. But I'd love to do a play over here. Absolutely, That'd be great. I, I, uh, I long wanted to uh, to come back and uh, and work over here. I just finished a play in New York not so long ago. I, you know, I. Love going mm. back to the stage is kind of my uh, I, I just love it. It's sort of the cornerstone of, of my creative life. So, uh, so I'd love to come over and do a play. You must. If you have any suggestions, you'll... I will get on it right yeah, away. Right? I'll get on it right away. And you'll you come better. to opening night. Of course right, I will. Good. And then we'll go out a lot. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. We'll hang out. But, you know, I was saying there, you are a family, yeah. very much a family. And I know it's still too raw to talk about, and I totally respect that, but I just wanted to say how sorry everybody is about what yeah, happened to Anton, who played Chekhov, of thank course, because he, you know, br just a brilliant, brilliant actor and just an absolute tragedy. Yeah, absolute it really, tragedy. it was, um, I mean, it still remains unfathomable to all of us that he's of not going to come bounding through the door at our press junkets or, you know, join us yeah. for the premieres. Um, you know, but I think the focus really has to be to celebrate his Completely. life and his incredible spirit. And uh, at such a young age, he was only 27 years old, but he made such incredible contributions mm. creatively and, and made so many wonderful films. And people that worked with him just absolutely adored him. Yeah. And, uh, 
Yeah, I mean, we knew that it was going to be, a, a, as I mentioned, a, a bittersweet uh, reunion because of, of the loss of Leonard. But then I don't think any of us could have imagined that this tragedy would befall all of us. And uh, we're definitely, you know, it's it's certainly brought us closer together. And, and, and the bond between all of us has been strengthened by this horrible loss. But um, he's definitely with us on this tour and, and, uh, and wherever we go. We miss him. We'll remember him yeah. with huge affection tonight. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. huge affection. Totally. Thank you so, so My much pleasure. for coming Thank in. I can't you. wait till tonight. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky to be seeing it at the well, premiere. Well, I'm glad you're getting out for us. <laughs> I know. That's I, good. I know. And, it's, and everybody can see the movie on July the 22nd. Thank you so, Thank so much. Thank you. Great to see you.